Hey everyone, it's Carrie from Lois. I'm here solo for my first solo video. I miss Allie and Jess a lot. Um, we are going to be doing um, a total body burn. So I believe um, that is on the challenge calendar for May 2nd, but obviously the calendar is um, it's just guidelines and any workout of the day that pops up, you can substitute that in along with the bike and the run and, and the walk that we put at the bottom as well. Um, so with Total Body Burn, all I'm using is a mat um, and a pair of 10 pound weights. And what we're gonna do is every round, we're doing four rounds, um, two times through, we'll have a lower body move, an upper body move, and then we combine them um, for the combo. And that actually gets the heart rate up a little bit um, without, um, jumping, well, no jumping today. Uh, and then we'll also do um, a core move. Okay, let's warm up. So we're just gonna start with the flat back down and round it up. One more time, flatten it down and round it up. Rolling the shoulders, let's just do some squats here. Always going at your own pace, making everything work for you. Two more. Now from here, we're gonna squat and reach down. Squat and reach. Two more, squat and reach. One more, squat and reach. We're gonna change it again. Now we're gonna squat and we're gonna reach up. Squat, reach up. Two more, squat, reach up. Squat, reach up. And let's bring the arms forward. And reverse. And now we're going to rotate right. Four, three, two. We're going to stay right here and we're going to extend up and down. Here's three and two and one. Now let's do a bicep curl and roll the hip forward. Four, three, two, and one. Now let's shift the weight back. Four, dynamic hamstring stretch. Three, two, and one. Flat back, point the toes away, bend the knees, rounding. Rolling the shoulders at the top. Let's finish it on the other side. Rotate left, four, three, two. Hold it here, we're gonna extend, lift and lower. There's one, two, three, four. This time roll the hip forward with a tricep cross. Four, three, two, and one. Finish up with the hamstring. Sink back. Four, three, two, and one. Point the toes away. Flatten out the back. Bend the knees and round it. Rolling the shoulders. All right, so we're gonna start with squats. So you can grab your weights. Remember, you can always do the whole workout without weights. Um, whatever you have handy, even water bottles. So I'm gonna hold the weights up here. We're gonna do 10 squats to the two count. So we're going down and lift, slow and controlled. Remembering that when you squat, your abs are tight. You're always sinking back into the heels. Keep it going. Down and lift. We're halfway there. Here's four and three and two. One more like this. Now starting with the weights where they are, overhead press up two and down two. Keeping the knees soft, lift and lower. Here's three. Four. Five. Halfway there. Five. Four. Three. Two more. And we're going to combine these. So it's constant movement. One more. Now this time we're going to pulse down the squat for three, two, one, and press. Three, two, one, and press. Three, two, one, press all the way to the heels. Two, one, 
and press. Oh, the heart rate's going up. And lift, halfway there. Three, two, one. Here's five. Four. Three. Two, one more like that. Yes. All right, we have to put the weights down for a second. And we are gonna come into a forearm plank, keeping the focus on the shoulders, but also working the core. So option one, you're gonna stay right here with this. Option two, you're gonna hold that forearm plank, but you're gonna reach the right arm out. And then the left, and the right, and left. Four more, four, three, two, Forearm plank hold for four, three, two, and one. Drop down onto the knees, rock it up, and we're gonna repeat that before we cross that round off our list. So in four, three, two, back to the squats, only down two, up two. Down, and lift and squeeze. Everything's starting to wake up. Here's our halfway point. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Overhead press. Lift and lower. Lift. And lower. My shoulders never take long to say hi. Lift and lower. Keep it going. Here's your halfway point. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And pulse those squats. Three, two, one, and press. Three, two, one, press. We've got this. Three, two, one, press. Press. Here's your five, two, one, countdown. Three, two, there's five. Three, two, there's four. Come on, we get this. And three, two, one more, one more, and one. All right, place those weights down. Come back to that forearm plank. So remember your options here. Straight line of the spine, breathing here. In four, three, two, reach one arm out and back, other arm, and back. Keep it going. And extend. Here's four, three, two, and forearm plank hold. Four, three, two, and one. Sink back into child's pose. All right, round one is done. Stretch out the shoulders, hydrate. So round two, we have a similar pattern, but we're gonna be working sumo squats with bicep curls, hammerhead curls. And of course the core. All right. So with the sumo squats, I'm just gonna hold the weights right here. You can also angle them down. If that's uncomfortable at all, you can bring them up. We're just gonna be, when we combine it, we're gonna be starting in this down position. Four. Three, two, down for two. Down, two, lift and squeeze. Keeping those abs super tight through the whole workout. There's your halfway point. Five more, five, four, 
three, two, one more solo sumo squat. All right, now just the bicep curls, hammer hip curls, so lift up two and down two, keeping the elbows close to the ribs. And if this stance is uncomfortable, you can bring your legs in. Just know that we're gonna soon combine them. All right, who's counting? We're almost at that halfway point. There's that halfway point. Five more. Here's five. Four. Three. Two. One more. All right, now that sumo pulse. So we're gonna go three, two, one, and curl. Three, two, one, curl. One, curl. Three, two, one, lift. Here's our halfway point. Now we're gonna start to count down five more. Three, two, one. There's five. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, three, two, one, two, three, two, one. Our favorite number, one. All right, so put those weights down for a moment. And we're gonna sit on our mat now. So we're gonna be here. Now, I'm gonna show you the side view. So you can be here, you can also be down in your forearms. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna crunch in, lift, up. In four, three, two, here we go. So it's crunch, press, lift, there's one. Crunch, press, lift, two. Crunch, press, lift, three. Crunch, press, lift, four. Crunch, press, halfway there, count down. Crunch, press, there's five. Crunch, press, four. Crunch, press, three. Are you still doing it with me? Crunch, press, two. One more, one more. Crunch, press, and one. All right, well, I don't pick favorites with rounds. So we are gonna do that one a second time, just like we did on the first. Whew. So starting with the sumo squats. In four, three, two, down for two. Down, lift and squeeze. Push through the heels, squeeze the inner thighs and glutes. There's two. Three. Four. Five. Here's five. Four. Three. Two. Hammerhead curls. Lift and lower. And again, find what works for your legs. The super important part is to keep the elbows glued to the ribs and the abs tight. Here's our halfway point. Here's five. Four. Three, two, one more, one more. Solo, that is. Now pulse the sumo three. Three, two, one, and curl. Three, two, one, curl. Whew. Curl. Curl. Here's our halfway. Five more. Three, two, one. There's five. Three, two, one, four. Three, two, one. Three, three, two, one, two, three, two, one. Yes. All right, those are done. But we do have our crunch press leg lift. All right, so again, either on the palms or down on the forearms, whatever works best, always do your thing. 
In four, three, two, start with the knees coming in. Crunch, press, leg, lift. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five. Four. Three. Come on, two more. Two, one more, you've got this. And one. Round two, done. Two more rounds left. All right, so round three, hydrate as needed. Round three is gonna incorporate deadlifts and tricep kickbacks. So, with the deadlift, make sure you're maintaining that flat back. It's not about how far you can go. I'm just going a little bit past my knees. Keep the abs tight. Tricep kickbacks will be here. And then when we combine them, we'll go down to extend, bend, and up. And I'll count you through that. Four, three, two, deadlifts only. Down two. And up two. Push through the heels. Squeeze the glutes. There's two. Three. Four. Five. Halfway there. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. So now you're going to bend your knees, row the weights up in four, three, two, tricep kickbacks. So back, two, and in, two. So when we're doing each move solo, it's a slow, controlled movement. Well, it should always be controlled, even when it's at tempo. Back, and in. Here's our halfway point. Here's five, abs are tight. Weight in the heels. Four, three, two, and one. All right, so here's the change. Instead of having the weights like this, you're gonna, when you come down into the deadlift, they're by your sides, you row up, you come back, up and in. In four, three, two, hinge forward. So it's hinge, extend, bend, and up. So as you hinge, you're bending the elbows. There's two. Three, squeeze the glutes. Four. Five, halfway there. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one. All right, we're coming into a high plank, alternating knee pulls. We've done these quite a few times in the videos. Remember the modification, you can be down on the forearms. And there's actually another modification that I'll show you. So we're here, and we're gonna do right knee to right elbow, left knee to left elbow. This modification, right knee, left knee. You can also be here and bring the right knee and the left knee. Because you're in that modified push-up position, you're still engaging your core. Four, three, two on your mirror image. Right knee to right elbow. Left knee to left elbow. Keep it going. You know what you're doing now, so just keep the gaze down towards the floor. Here's four, three, two, and one. Come down onto the knees, walk it back, rock it up. All right, one more time through that round and we'll cross it off the list. Back to those deadlifts. In four, three, two, down for two. Down and up. Two, there's one. Two. 
three, push the heels, squeeze the glutes at the top. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, can we do one more? The answer is always yes. And 10. All right. So hinging forward, arms rode up in four, three, two, kick back to the two count. So back, two, in, two. There's one, two. Feel the back of the arms saying hello. Three, four. Those abs engaged. Keep them tight. Five, halfway there. Five, four, three, two. Can you do one more? Yeah, we can. And one. All right. So now combining that. So just to review, because I know the pattern's a little bit different from the first two, we're going to hinge forward as we bend the elbows, extend, then squeeze the glutes at the top. Four, three, two, here we go. So hinge, extend, bend, and lift. Hinge, extend, bend, there's two. Hinge, extend, bend, three. Four. Five, halfway. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, we're almost done with that round. High plank knee pulls. Remember the modification of the forearms or on the knees. In four, three, two, right knee to right elbow. Left knee. Keep it going. You know this. Right and left. Here's four, three, two. Oh, let's hold the plank for fun. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Child's pose. Awesome job. Rotate the wrists. All right, round three is done. So we have our last round, and our last round is on the mat. We are gonna do weighted glute bridges, bench press, and then the glute bridge bench press combo, and of course we have the core. So two times through this last round, four um, patterns, we got this. All right, so again, hydrate as needed. So we're gonna lay down on the mat. I'm placing the weights on my thighs for the solo glute bridge. However, if the two weights feel like they're too much, there's always options, right? So you can place the weight here, or you don't have to use the weights, because guess what? Your body creates the weight for you as well. That's why body, body weight exercises are awesome. Okay, four, three, two, push into those heels, up to the two count. Lift, two, and lower, two, abs tight. Lift, squeeze the glutes, lower. There's two, lift, lower, three, lift, lower, four, lift, lower, five, lift, lower, six, lift, lower, seven, lift, lower, eight, come on, two more, lift, Lower nine and lift and lower 10. Now you're gonna grab those weights, whether they're on the thighs or on the floor, safely pick them up. Your weights are now by your shoulders, abs are tight in four, three, two, let's bench press. So lift up for two and down, two, there's one. Lift, lower, two, lift, lower, three, Lift, lower, four, lift, 
lower. Five, how are we doing? Here's five. And four. Three. Two. One more solo bench press for now. And one. All right, combining them. So the hips, just to demo before we start. The hips and the weights go up at the same time and then they lower down at the same time to the two count. Four, three, two, here we go. So it's lift, two, lower, two. There's one, lift, abs tight, lower, two, lift, lower, three, lift, lower, four, lift, lower, five, halfway there, come on. Here's five, and four, three, two, and one. Yes. All right, so you're going to safely release the weights. We're going to place the fingertips behind the head. The chin is off the chest. The, the legs are extended up. If that is too much pressure, you always modify with the bent knees. Of course, the third option is just to keep the feet on the floor. But we are gonna start with just lift and lower, and then we're gonna do reach for our toes or climb the rope. In four, three, two, you have eight, just lift and lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now reach for the toes for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release the legs down. And if that, the toe reaches, if that was too much on your neck, try to do a couple, then place the fingertips behind the head. The second time through. So we have one more time through this round, and then we're gonna finish with a final stretch and call, call it a class. So when we return to those abs, if you want to do all toe reaches or alternate as needed, go for it. All right, come on, let's bring it. Last time through, we've got this. Starting with the glute bridges. In four, three, two, up for two. So lift, squeeze, lower, down. There's one, lift, lower, two, lift, lower, three, lift, Lower, four, lift, lower, five, halfway there, come on. Here's five, and four, three, are you still with me? Come on, here's two, one more, one more, and one. Releasing, so grab those weights, whether they're on your thighs or on the floor, you're gonna safely pick them up. Weights are by the shoulders, abs are tight. In four, three, two, come on, 10 reps like this. Lift, up, lower, there's one. Lift, lower, two, lift, lower, three, lift, lower, four, lift. Lower, five, halfway. There's five, four, three, two, and one. Keep the weights, don't go anywhere. One, move into the next. So both hips and, and the weights are gonna lift at the same time. In four, three, Two, stay to the two count, slow and controlled. Lift, up, lower, there's one. Lift, lower, two, lift, lower, three, lift, lower, four, lift, lower, five, lift, lower, here's five, counting down. Four, 
lift, lower, three, lift, lower, two, lift, lower, there's one. Safely release the weights, fingertips behind the head, unless you're going right for the toe reaches, remember either feet flat on the floor, knees bent, or legs extended. In four, three, two, let's get it done. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, toe reaches. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knees in. You can gently rock side to side. We're going to lower the feet down. Let's cross the right ankle over the left thigh and then breathe the knees in. Open up through the hip. Let the shoulders fall away. We got it done. And now we're switching sides. And releasing. Let's roll over onto the belly and bring one heel into the glutes. Reach around for a quad stretch. And switching sides. And releasing. Press up onto all fours. Let's round up into a cat stretch. Chin tucks in. And release, gazing up. One more time, rounding. And now come back to neutral. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips up into down dog. Feel that three-way stretch of down dog as you press into the palms and the fingers. Lifting high through the hips, lengthen through the spine, and pushing down through the heels. Your muscles are nice and warm. Best time to stretch and work on flexibility. Bending the knees, allowing the hands to walk back towards the toes, and slowly rounding up. Rolling the shoulders at the top. Let's push the palms back. Allow the knees to be soft here. Let's bring the right arm across. And switching arms. And releasing. Let's lift up, bring the palms together, and bend the elbows so the thumbs are touching the back of the neck. Feel the stretch through your triceps. And releasing, breathe the arms behind, opening through the chest. And sweep the arms forward, push the palms to knee, chin drops in. We're gonna inhale, lift and lengthen. Let's exhale to the right. Inhaling center, exhale to the left. Inhaling center and exhaling out. Awesome job, so there's your total body burn. Remember, you can always pair this with Jess's um, low impact cardio, or maybe you want more of a stretch and you wanna add, um, add on Allie's stretch and mobility class. Get it done. Initial every workout you do, try to win that challenge. Have a great day.